Guys, it is Wednesday morning. I'm sitting here just waking up, catching up on emails, drinking my coffee, watching some YouTube videos, and I heard some pretty crazy news that Tamiya aerosol paints are gonna be banned in Canada, effective immediately. Of course, you hear something on the internet, you better do a deep dive before you go presenting anything else on the internet. I'm here to present something else on the internet. I've done a little bit of a deep dive into this. Check this guy, check this out, guys. Hey, good morning. I bring you sad news today in the hobby industry. We were informed this morning when we got in that Tamiya spray paints are no longer going to be allowed to be imported into Canada. The government of Canada has determined that there is something in the spray cans that is not either environmentally or health safe and they have banned the importation of this. That includes all the stocks that the Canadian importer has on hand at this time. So now we are limited to what we have in stock or what was already out in the supply chain and even that could be subject to change on no notice. So right now you have the ability to get spray paints from your local hobby store but once they run out that's it, they will not be restocks. And I understand all the current stock that's sitting at the Canadian importer is set to be destroyed. This is how serious this is. I don't know the specifics on what the element is or the content or whatever it is they have a problem with, but it is a problem and apparently the amount of it in the spray cans exceeds tolerable standards set by the Canadian government. So in Canada, to me, spray paints for the foreseeable future will not be available. So you have to get them while you can. Limited to stocks on hand and whatever, as I say, is trickling out in the supply chain. I've already hustled and reordered some paints where I could get them. Even then, I will not be 100% at this point. So things that will sell out fast, like primers, the primary colors, silvers, blacks, things like that. If you love the paint, if you want the paint, I suggest you buy it as soon as possible while supplies last. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Apply. We're going right to the source here, guys. We're calling the Canadian distributor. Good morning, what's up? Oh, hi there. Um, I'm curious uh, who I'd speak to. I heard a, a rumor that the Tamiya paints are no longer going to be allowed to be imported into Canada. Oh, okay, yes. So I can tell you the information we have so far. Okay. Um, so we basically got a notice from Environment Canada that some of the paints had a chemical with too high a concentration to import without a permit. Um, so that's just the sprays, the aerosols, so the TS, PS, AS primers. Um, so for now, we've had to remove them all. We can't sell them. We can't import them. Wow, you can't even sell the stock that you have? E exactly, yeah. Wow, really, eh? That's crazy. Yeah. So if, um, if a customer calls in and they have stock in their store, they're free to keep selling. Okay. Uh, but we're working with our suppliers on clarifying SDS across colors individually and potential formula changes to meet the Canadian regulations. Don't know how that's going to go, um, but we're waiting for final documents from Environment Canada and news from our suppliers right now. But yeah, it's pretty terrible. Wow. So I'm going to—is it just like a VOC kind of a thing, like a VOC compliance uh, I'm issue? Not sure, that's that's all they've given me here for now. Just Environment Canada knocking on our door. So dang. Someone decided to test, and I guess the chemical was too high. Oh boy. Yeah, you definitely get a bit of a. A shine when you're using them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, we'll see. We're, we're waiting for updates because, yeah, we just got this notice maybe two, three days ago that had to go out. Wow. Okay. Yep. That's where we're at right now. But if you still got them, you can keep selling and. Yeah, I'm 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 not a retailer, but I'm gonna run to my retailer and probably buy them all now. Yeah, <laughs> so we'll be going a little crazy. Yeah. yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much for for the help. I appreciate it. No problem. Have a good day. You too. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye. Guys, you heard it there. Um, yeah, obviously this is a very serious video because I'm wearing the same T-shirt as yesterday, and I'm in my living room. Um, but here I am on the Borgfeldt Canada Limited uh, website, and this is the uh, national distributor uh, for Tamiya here in Canada. Check this out. I don't know if this shot's working or not, but uh, anyway, yeah, this is where we're at here, guys. This is a legit thing. So Tamiya spray, spray paints, you guys just heard it. T-S-P-S-A-S, I think she said as well. Um, whatever, I, I hope that audio worked out well. I can't really tell. Just. I just woke up guys, it's like 
seven in the morning. I've got my coffee here and I, I saw this news. I'm like, ah, this is crazy. Let's make a video. So, um, yeah, so hopefully that audio worked, but basically what they're saying is that now in Canada, uh, effective immediately, Tamiya spray paints are no longer, um, allowed to be sold in re in, in the retail centers. So whatever inventory they have, they can flog off and sell at retail. Uh, but the distributors are not allowed to sell their inventory to the retailers just to, to distribute, which is just pretty crazy if you ask me. I get it. It's likely VOC compliant. I worked in the auto body industry for almost 20 years, guys. Um, I started my career almost 20 years ago as a painter. I painted cars. And when I started painting, we were using solvent-based paints. And the odor was very strong. Um, the colors were great. The adhesion was awesome, but the colors and the odor were very, the, sorry, the odor was very strong and we had to switch to a waterborne paint. I think it was like 2005, 2006, where the transition started to these water-based paints. And that's the same stuff that they use today. My wife is actually still a painter in the auto body industry and, uh, and a really good one, mind you. And she sprays water-based paint all the time. That's what she uses. Um, so hopefully that's what this means is that Tamiya hopefully can pivot and make a water-based or a lower VOC formula that's still going to have the adhesion properties that we all know and love about the Tamiya, especially the PS paints. Because for polycarbonate, like it's like it's the go-to, it's the standard that everyone uses. Um, doesn't matter if you're a Tamiya guy, Kyosho, Arma, Traxxas, whatever, we're always using Tamiya paints. I know there's others out there, but... Seems like the Tamiya ones are the, the go-to. So it's a it's a big it's it's big news for us Canadians anyway. So I thought I want to share it with you guys. Um, get your butts out there and buy your paint now. <laughs> All right, check you guys in the next one. Bye.